everyone and welcome to my channel. That was very good then. I like that one. I wanted to make a channel because I feel that there's such a lack of content surrounding skincare online. Anybody who knows me knows that I have suffered from eczema my whole life. I was told by doctors by the age of 7 that I would grow out of it but unfortunately now at the age of 23 I've still got it. Every time I look online for new, new products and remedies to try I always feel like there is such a lack of content surrounding skincare in general. So I've taken it upon myself to be that content. In the next few weeks I will be attending my first dermatology appointment where we're hopefully going to get to the bottom of why my eczema exists. But as for right now I wanted to share the products that I use to try and clear my eczema. Firstly I want to say I'm not a doctor, a GP or a dermatologist and I'm not trying to be. I've gathered a lot of experience over the last 23 years regarding skin and I just want to share it with people that are also struggling with the same issue as me. Eczema is something that is very personal to everybody who suffers from it. Not every product is going to heal everybody but I really want to share the vast amount of products that I have used over the last few years. If you're interested in seeing what products I use to clear my eczema then please keep watching. I've decided to split this video into a couple of little sections because you need different creams to tackle different aspects of eczema. So the first the first section I'm going to talk about is steroid creams. Now steroid creams are the main factor in trying to get rid of eczema. The steroid cream contains the ingredients that help fight the eczema and get rid of it in comparison to a moisturiser that just continues to moisturise the skin and doesn't actually fight fight the issue that the skin has. So the first steroid cream that I currently use is the Amove ointment. Now I've used this for roughly about a year and I think it's quite good. It is incredibly strong so you are advised not to use it regularly but if you use it for a couple of days and take a longer period of time off then you can really start to see results with this. It is an ointment so it is quite thick and sticky but it does absorb into the skin quite quickly which I really like. I'm not a big fan of ointments myself and I try to avoid them at all costs um, but this is definitely something that I've been able to get on board with because I know that it works and it works quickly. Sometimes I have a little patch of eczema on my wrist for example and I put it on at night time, I wake up in the morning and 80% of it is gone. It certainly takes the colour out of things quite quickly so if you do feel that your, your eczema is quite red, it dulls the colour down a little bit which makes it a little less noticeable which is something that we're all desperately trying to achieve. Um, this is definitely... this is definitely... It is very smooth and it's very quite, um, a lot of ointments can be considered quite thick. It's thick in terms of, of the fact that it's an ointment but it's incredibly thin in terms of spreading onto your skin. It goes on really smoothly and probably within the next five minutes that is going to be absorbed fully into my skin. This is a product that you definitely have to be prescribed. You cannot get this over the counter sadly but if you if you're interested in it and you've not been, and you've not been given the opportunity to use it I would definitely ask your GP if you can give it a go. The next product I want to talk about is something that probably everybody with eczema has used in their lifetime and it is hydrocortisone cream. Hydrocortisone cream was the first cream that I was ever prescribed as a baby to use on my skin. Uh, I was given hydrocortisone 1% uh, and I used it right up until the age of 22. When I went to the doctors last year they in fact told me that you shouldn't be on steroid creams for an incredibly long period of time as it affects your internal organs and can seriously damage your body. Now. I was unaware of that and quickly steered away from this cream but by god does it work. It's so good. It doesn't work as fast as the Amove ointment, obviously this is a lot stronger but it definitely does the job especially if you've got young skin. So as a child I used this quite a lot but currently I have been prescribed this hydrocortisone in 0.5%. I've been prescribed this currently to use on my face. I don't get eczema on my face too often but when I do it kind of appears on my eyelids, sometimes on the tops of my cheeks and on my forehead. I put it onto my skin at night time after my skincare routine and it does the business, it's great. Um, again it takes redness away quite quickly and it kind of leaves you with a little bit of flakiness. Obviously keep applying it and it will keep doing its job but please be sparing when you're putting these creams on. Any of these creams be sparing, only put it on parts of your body that need it. Don't smear it all over your body because it does thin your skin. Unfortunately, that's another side effect of it. Um, so only put it where you need to put it. So if I've got a little dot on my chin, only put it on my chin. Don't put it all over your face. Later on in life, you're definitely going to notice that it's affected your skin. Again, this cream goes in really, really easily. It's more cream based. It's not an ointment. So it does soak into your skin quicker. 
and it's just really reliable. The little tiny tube is also perfect if you're travelling anywhere. It's not a big massive cream, which I'll be showing you in a second. The next kind of category I want to talk about is moisturisers. Now, moisturiser is the cream that you will put on most frequently when trying to deal with eczema. Um, I moisturise my body four times a day, which sounds excessive, but it's something that really needs to be done to help keep it under control. Uh, there's two, there's two moisturisers that I use quite frequently. One, one more so than one more so than the other, but um, I both, I think they're both equally as good. So the first one I want to talk about is Diprobase. Uh, I've been using Diprobase since the age of 16, so that's, oh my god, that's seven years ago. That's really depressing. Um, I had an allergic reaction back when I was 16 um, to clothes that I, secondhand clothes that I'd bought online. Unfortunately, the seller had a cat and didn't specify and that's when we found out I was allergic to cats. So this was very helpful in terms of keeping my skin moisturised and helping it recover. Um, obviously stopping breakages in the skin if your skin is really really dry sometimes in the winter if I have dry, if I have dry hands and close my hands my knuckles will split the inside of my fingers will split so this really really helps stop that from happening. Dipper base is a white paraffin based cream again it's very it's not ointment based it's not sticky it's very smooth smooth to go on and it does absorb reasonably quickly obviously it's quite thick for a cream so it does take its time but it is entirely worth it I promise. <laughs> when you get prescribed these you get a massive, massive tub. I actually get two of these per prescription so um, if you are applying it four times a day as you should you will have hundreds and hundreds of it so you won't have to worry about running out anytime soon. The other moisturiser that I want to talk about is Cetraben. Now when I read a lot of um, suggestion posts on Facebook surrounding eczema and dry skin so many people talk about Cetraben and that it's amazing and it is. <laughs> I prefer Dipper Base to use on my own, but I think it's because I've had it a little bit longer and I know how to deal with it. But I do believe that Cetraben is equally as fab. Cetraben's main ingredient is water, which is different from Dipper Base as it is soft white paraffin. It has got a slightly runnier consistency, but it does the same job. I think it's great. Um, obviously, again, you get it in a massive tub. Uh, you also get two of these. Um, well, I get two of these, so you'll never run out any you'll you'll it'll last you for a long they'll last you for a really long time i do think it's great the only annoying thing about these ones is they're so big so they're very difficult to travel with it, obviously if you've got hand luggage there is no way you're getting through security with one of these but um if you've got packed luggage and you're able to take a big thing like this it's going to fit then great but i do think if these products work for you then seeking out and finding smaller ones to travel with is definitely something that i would recommend the majority of the products that i'll be talking about today you can you can get online. You can get them from Boots, Superdrug, or on Amazon as well. If you're interested in them and want to buy them yourself, then that's great. I will try and leave as much information as I can about the products down below. The next category I want to talk about is how to deal with itching. Now, anyone with eczema will know that sometimes it can get a little bit dry and a little bit itchy. If you itch the skin, you're really likely to open it up and cause a lot more damage. A couple of months ago, I was given Urax. Now, Urex is an anti-itch cream which can be used for hundreds of things. Now on the box it says you can use it for itchy dermatitis, dry eczema, allergies, hives, chicken pox, insect bites, heat rashes, sunburn. So this cream tackles a hell of a lot of stuff and I really really love it. I was advised to put this on after you've come out of a bath because your body absorbs more absorbs more moisture when you've, as soon as you've came out of the bath so this works amazingly when you do that. Uh, it, when you put it on it gets a little bit warm um, uh, so maybe a couple of minutes after you've applied it your skin will heat up a little bit but that's totally totally normal so do not stress and think that it's burning your skin because it's just heating it all up and making sure all the itching goes away. So I put this on at night time after I've had a shower or a bath predominantly when I have a bath because it works amazingly um, and I don't feel itchy at all. I've got a little tiny one here which is great. I've had a couple of larger things so I know that you can get this in a smaller size. It is just like a kind of white cream again. Um, it also smells quite nice as well. <laughs> but yeah, this is a winner. Uh, I don't think a lot of people talk about this but to stop your skin from being itchy, put something on it to make it stop. If your skin is itching it wants something so give it something to deal with it. Obviously to stop itching you can also use tablets. Now I have been prescribed fexofenadine which is an antihistamine. 
It's a little bit stronger than your piritin that you can get from the supermarket or from the drugstore. I take about two of these a day. Sometimes I take three if I'm feeling if I'm not feeling too great, but um, I do think they do the trick. In combination with the Urex cream, they're a really great team to help you stop itching. And if you stop itching, your skin will heal a little bit quicker and hopefully get rid of your eczema a little bit faster. Obviously, I was prescribed this, but you can buy antihistamines over the counter, so finding an equivalent to this will be very, very easy. The last category I want to talk about is bath and shower products. Now, I love a Lush bath bomb just as much as everybody else, but unfortunately, when my skin flares up, I can't use them. I try and keep my bath and skin products as basic as possible because that is something that often aggravates and encourages eczema to grow. A lot of bath products and bath salts dry out your skin, which also encourages eczema to spread. So I use Hydromol. I use Hydromol in the bath and in the shower. It's a liquid based product and it looks kind of milky. Um, it's very moisturising, it's very nice. Uh, I use it most often in the bath. It doesn't really create a lot of bubbles which isn't something that you're going for with this type of thing. I come out of the bath and shower and I feel moisturised which is something that never really happened to me before. I would come out and feel a little bit dry. Um, I feel my skin was a little bit dry and then it would be a battle to try and bring moisture back into it but I feel like this really helps do the job. This is very good to bring moisture into your skin even when you're in warm water as well so it works well with the other products that I'm using. It doesn't aggravate my skin, it's dermatology tested, it, it's designed for people with dry skin so this isn't something just specifically for people with eczema, this can be used for people that just have general dry skin and also suffer from other skin issues. It's a bit sad that I can't use snazzy bath stuff but hopefully when my skin gets a little bit better and I can manage it a bit more I can have a wee bath bomb as a treat now and then but right now I'm really happy with this and it's okay. <laughs> oh, that was a lot of talking. <laughs> so that is currently the products that I have been prescribed by the doctor to use to treat my eczema. Obviously there's probably 101 other products out there that I haven't used but I would love to hear about them so if you use anything to treat your skin that I haven't spoken about today please leave it down below. I'm really interested to try as much as I can. I hope this has given you a bit of an insight into the products that I use to clear my eczema and hopefully given you a bit of inspiration, maybe something that you've never used before. Please go and have a conversation with your GP about these products because I have been prescribed all of these. And as I said at the beginning, I am attending my first dermatology appointment in a couple of weeks time, which I'm so, so, so excited about. Uh, I'm excited to get a bit more knowledge about why my skin is acting this way and if, if we can fix it. <laughs> uh, so, I'm obviously going to document the experience for myself but I thought it would be really helpful to share it with others. There's obviously such a lack of content out there about eczema and skin issues. So I wanted to fill that little gap online and hopefully help someone out there who needs a little bit of inspiration to help clear their skin. If you have enjoyed this video then please like it, I would really really appreciate it and uh, please let me know below if there's any products that you've been prescribed that I haven't spoken about. My next video is going to be about products that I have bought from the drugstore that I use that I haven't been prescribed so hopefully I'll get that out to you guys next week. Um, but yeah, as of right now that's everything that I have to say. <laughs> I'll shut up now. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, I really really appreciate it and I will see you soon. Bye! Anxiety is killing me. <laughs> I'm always hungry, I'm always cold, but I'm always tired. Bye. Right. I don't want to say journey. I'm going on a journey. This is my skin journey. I, I don't want to say that. Um, what's all that? Should we keep going? I'll keep going. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is this bit of hair that's really flipping annoying me. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs>